Hi and welcome, this is UploadVP and this is WooCommerce tutorial part 2. So last time we set up everything with uh, WordPress and X Store theme. So now we're gonna go to the website and have a look. Okay, so we have X Store installed on our WordPress site. So now we have two options. We can build the website from scratch or we can go and install a demo. So if you want to start from scratch, then it's gonna look like this. And if you want to have a demo, we go to dashboard, go down to eight theme options, go to import and export. Okay, so if you want to use a demo from one of these, you have to click on import base dummy content. So are you sure you want to install demo data? If yes, click OK. If not, click cancel. So if you want to use one of these, you can click on them and install it on your WordPress site. But in this tutorial, we will build the WooCommerce from scratch. So we will not use the demos. But if you choose to use the demos, you can just uh, change the content and you have an awesome design from beginning. If you choose to use the demos, you can just uh, enter your own content like slider and products and you have the finish uh, design already. Okay, but in this tutorial we will build our WooCommerce from scratch. So we can go back to the website. Okay, so first we're gonna set up our menu. So to do this, we're gonna go to dashboard, go to pages, click on add new. Okay, so here is where you can add all the pages in the menu. So let's say we want to have a blog, just add a title and then click on publish. Okay, so this is how you add a page that you can use for the menu. So if you go to Appearance, go to Menus. Okay, so here we're gonna add a menu name. So we can add Primary Menu. Click on Create Menu. Okay, so now we have all of these pages that are included in the WooCommerce plugin. And uh, here we got the page that we just created. So we can just uh, choose shop, blog, checkout, cart, my account and wishlist. Click on add to menu. Okay, so then we can Click on the page and just drag it where we want to have shop. So I want to have shop at the top. So this will be to the left in the menu. Then we're gonna have blog, cart, wishlist. Okay, so now we have shop, blog, wishlist, cart, my account, and checkout. You can choose to have this as main menu. You can also have it as a main menu right or mobile menu. So in this case, we want to choose main menu. Click on save. Okay, so the menu is saved. You can also create a new menu. So let's say I want to have a new menu. Let's click on create. And we can name this menu right. Click on create. Okay, so we want to have this main menu right. Click on this one and we can add my account, checkout, and cart. 
click on add to menu go to save okay you can also find post custom links and uh, categories okay so then we can go to the website and have a look so now we have shop blog wishlist cart my my account and checkout okay so then we can set up the header so let's go to dashboard Go down to eight theme options, go to general. Okay, so here we can change the layout. So site layout, if you want to have wide layout, boxed, framed or bordered. We can go to header type. So in this case, you can choose to have logo to the left, the menu, you can have logo in the middle and the menu to the left, logo above the menu, and variant standard, variant center two, double menu, and two rows. So in this case, we will use this one, variant center. Click on save changes. Then we can go to header settings. You can choose header wide, fixed header, header overlap the content, header text color. So here we can change the background. So I will choose white. Enable top bar, yes. Top bar background, I will choose black. Top bar text color, white. Logo image. So here you can upload a logo. And just click on upload files, click on select files. So just find your logo. Click on shoes. Okay, then click on select. So now we have a logo image. You can also add a logo image for fixed header. Logo max wide. So if you want to have it bigger, just drag it like that. But we will use 200. Enable sign in link, yes. Enable search form in header, yes. Enable top panel, yes. Shopping cart icon. Default. Background color for cart number label. You can choose a color. Click on shoes. Show number of cart items in Favicon. Yes. Then click on save changes. Okay, so let's go back to the website and have a look. Okay, so we have the white background, we have the logo, we also have the menu in the center below the logo. We have the top bar in black and white text. Okay, so I think this one doesn't look so good, so I will go and remove that. So go to dashboard, go down to a theme general. Okay, so header settings. Then I'm gonna enable search form in header off. Click on save changes. Let's go back. 
Okay, so much better. Okay, so then we can go and set up the footer. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard. Go to options, go to general, go to footer. So this is footer columns. You can choose one, two, three, or four. So I will choose three. You can choose show footer demo blocks. Will be shown if footer sidebars are empty. Back to the top button. This is if they go down, they will find a button that will take them to the top. Back to top button on mobile. Same thing, but on mobile phone. Okay, so then click on save changes. So to add things in the footer, we go to appearance, go to widgets. Okay, so this is the widget area. Here you can add widgets to the main sidebar, left side top bar area, right side top bar area, and so on. So as you can see, we have the footer right here. We have uh, three columns. So if you go to column number one, it's empty. So we want to add something. So in the left right here, you can see a lot of widgets. So you can choose the one that you want to have in your footer. So let's say I want to have social links. Let's click on social links and choose footer number three or one or two. Click on add widget. Okay, so here you're gonna add your social media links. So I will just do like this. But you will add your URL to your social media account. Then gonna click on save. So choose another one. Recent post. Put number two. You can add a title. Display post date, yes or no. The number of posts to show. Click on save. And then we can add a search bar. So foot number one. But you maybe want to add uh, contact information and things like that. This is just for example how to do this. Search. Okay, click on save. So let's go back to the website and have a look. So now we have search products, we have recent post, and we have our social media right here. We can also add uh, social media up here in the top bar. So if you go back to widgets, you can find it right here. So this one, left side top bar area, or if you want to have it to the right. So I will choose to the right, let's find uh, social media widgets, so this one, and choose right side top bar area. Click on add widget. Do the same thing, add your social media links. Click on save. Let's go back to the website and have a look. So now we have our social media right here. Okay everyone, so that's it for part number two. Let's go to part number three.